In this video, I'm going to go over the different ways to rate limit TCP using iperf2. Um, in the first case, I'm going to set the uh, control the rate on the transmitter or the client by using the minus v option. And what this does is it really limits the, actually the rights to the uh, by the application layer down. And so you if, let me put an interval report in there as well and use minus e for the that output so let's just do 100 megabits per second so you just put the minus b like you would do and then you hit it and that should rate limit the number of writes to you know write 100 megabits per second um and you should see you know sort of uh the statistics accordingly so that's there the other option is actually with iperf2 you can actually rate limit the reads and since tcp is a uh uh you know fl a connection oriented uh, uh, protocol, the, the client, the TCP stack will, you know, indicate congestion back to the transmitter and it should slow down. So if I slow down the reads, that creates congestion such that even if there's no um, the limiting on the client, uh, uh, you know, the, the rate limit sh it should be rate limited. This is kind of interesting too because you'll notice that the, the RTT and things go up because now we're full congestion, meaning everything's being rate limited on the receiver. Um, so, so that's something to compare versus when you rate limit on the transmitter. Even though we're getting the same throughput, you know, the, the, um, the, the resources, the pipe has more in it. So it also kind of hints at why you want to try to, you know, run this, that near congestion as opposed to full congestion. And, you know, these algorithms would be pre preferable to run just slightly under congestion, keep these, uh, keep, you know, keep things from filling up. Okay, so that's that. So that, oh, just for completeness, let's make sure that that without a what happens without a uh, without a rate limiter to show you that yeah we are indeed rate limiting. So even though the network capacity is right at 10 gigabits per second, it was running at 100 megabit by rate limiting the reads. And the final um, way that we can uh, kind of control the flow of the traffic is using uh, the SO max or SO max pacing rate and that's done at the traffic scheduler level and this is not in all operating systems but the one that offer a fair queue traffic policing you can set the SO max pacing rate and, and that will also limit it this is done at the sort of the traffic layer of the kernel of the operating systems and that's also set on the client so it's done with this FQ rate long option so that it'll be a little bit different but the, so you set that so this and then that 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 should set you know, control the rate as well. So there's really three different ways to rate limit TCP flow. One is to rate limit the writes on the client. The second is to rate limit the reads on the client. And the third is to use uh, fair queue and pacing by the kernel level on the client. All right, give those a try and see how it goes.